there is a plot to overthrow the United States by a well-funded, well-strategized, and well-organized group. The scary part is they're actually succeeding. Today, I'm going to tell you about the Seven Mountains Mandate and Christian Dominionism. Dominion theology, also known as Dominionism, is a group of Christian political ideologies that seek to institute a nation that is governed by Christians. The Seven Mountain Mandate is part of Dominionism, and they believe that Christianity should be reflected in seven areas that they believe control society, which are family, religion, education, media, entertainment, business, and government. Followers believe that by fulfilling the Seven Mountain Mandate, they can bring about the end times. Their declared goal is to take control of society and the U.S. government. They want one nation under God, and once this is achieved, followers believe that Jesus will return in the second coming, initiating the end of days. And this isn't some fringe group. Dominionists have been infiltrating the conservative party for years. Two of the most famous Dominionists ever are Jerry Falwell and Paul Weyrich. Paul Weyrich said, we are talking about Christianizing America. We're talking about spreading the gospel in political context. And that's the guy who started the Council for National Policy, the strategizing group that has been responsible for every hateful piece of legislation for the last 40 years. The other founding member, Jerry Falwell, once said that while we are told to render unto Caesar the things that are Caesar's, that we only have one purpose on this earth, to know Christ and to make him known, which includes fighting communism or participating in civil rights reforms. A few of the things that Dominionists believe that they want reflected in American public policy is the death penalty for anyone who's homosexual, women who don't save themselves for marriage, adulterers, blasphemers, psychics, and juvenile delinquents. They've even endorsed public executions and public stonings. The Dominionists believe that wealth is a sign of God's favor, and yes, they were the start of the prosperity gospel movement. They believe the poor and sick deserve their lot. It's God's way to prick their conscience and provoke introspection. It's why you see so many people on the right opposing Social Security and Medicare programs. They also believe that women should be regulated to the home, pleasing their husbands, taking care of their kids, and making more babies. A Dominionist newsletter, the Chalcedon Report, said that the devastating curse of women ruling over men is getting the press it deserves today. Our nation is under judgment. As the home goes, so goes the nation. This ideology, along with the formation of the Council for National Policy, has been successful in taking away rights for millions of Americans. This is who is behind the overturning of Roe versus Wade. This is why Republicans are attacking trans rights, universal health care, these people supported segregation, and because they believe wealth is a blessing, this is why they align with billionaires and big oil execs. Companies that aren't even religious have it at their best interest to align with these people because the policies that these people are trying to enact benefit them financially. Please watch every video in the Know Your Enemy playlist. Only when we know who our enemy is do we stand a chance at defeating them.